So this is just a, a quick tuner shootout. Um, I've gone through a lot of tuners over the years and uh, I thought I wanted the Ernie Ball VP Junior tuner, but I don't really I don't really love it. I like the idea of it. Um, but I also like to be able to see what I'm playing as I'm playing it. Like I think that there's a learning component of being able to see when you play a solo, um, you know, what notes you're playing. Of course, I, I know what they are on the fretboard, but it's also just kind of nice that like visual tracking of what's going on and also just chords, you know, it's nice to be able to see that on the tuner. And if you have your foot on the volume pedal, doing a swell or if you had your foot on the volume pedal at all with the VP Junior tuner, you can't, you can't see that activity. Um, also, you'll notice this, I think, between the Polytune 3 Mini that's there on the right and the Sonic Research Turbo Tuner ST300 Mini there on the left that they track really fast. Now, just kind of spoiler alert, where I've landed is the the Layla, or the, yeah, I think that's how you say it, Layla. <laughs> um, that's the uh, Mini Volume S volume pedal there on the left, and the, the out of that is going to the Turbo Tuner. That's the combo I've landed on. Um, I, I love that volume pedal. I think the... Um, sweep of it is great you know no mechanical kind of parts is a, a great selling factor and i like the turbo tuner st300 mini better than the polytune 3 mini because i hate the poly mode of the polytune i think it's gimmicky i can't imagine under which circumstance you would use that when you're you know playing a chord or playing open strings um, maybe some people like it, and, and, and if you do, that's then it's great because it tracks really well, small footprint, buffer built in, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but that, uh, there's something about the turbo tuner that I just, I just like better, um, mainly the absence of the poly. I like the way the strobe shows up a little bit better on the, the turbo tuner. And all in all, the combo of that and the Layla uh, volume pedal is uh, is for me. But I'm actually going to keep the Polytune, put it on a, a little uh, mini board. But anyway, let me just. This is a um, uh, 56 Custom Shop Strat that I'm uh, that I'm playing uh, into a uh, Silverface Deluxe Reverb. So you you know that's what you'll hear. But uh, let me just tune up the guitar real quick and then we'll go into kind of some uh, chord and note examples. So. <laughs> Polytune, when I hit that C chord just now, it went to the poly display and then kind of hit the root note. And one other thing that I really like about the Turbo Tuner is it shows me the last note or, you know, chord, kind of the root note that I hit. So that C, like, it's just nice to, like, have that back as a reference of you know, if you stopped a, a song or something, it's like, where were we? And you have it right there on the turbo tuner. I think that's really cool um, and is a, kind of a side benefit. One thing too that, um, you know, on the Ernie Ball uh, BB Junior tuner, not only does it not track notes very quickly, but but also, I you know, I think you can really see the, 
when I say lack of accuracy, I mean, it's an accurate enough tuner, but the Polytune and the Turbo Tuner will still give you slight, sharp, and flat reference, whereas the Ernie Ball is just green and it's like, yeah, it's in tune, whereas the other two allow you to get that kind of micro level of tuning, which is not only useful for tuning, but obviously if you're intonating a, a guitar, you need that level of, of accuracy when you are, um, you know, when you're splitting hairs and you're trying to be, you know, very, very in tune. So uh, a couple of chords again. <laughs> show you especially some of that last you know single note stuff um you know i really i really like the way the the turbo tuner tracks and when you get into kind of the the chord side how it shows you the root note of the chord instead of going to the poly um you know display that the poly tune does so for me the layla volume and the turbo tuner st300 mini um, by the way, th I'll do another quick video um, because there are some settings that you can set, like having the Turbo Tuner Mini do an auto on, so that when you plug in your pedal board, it's automatically on. It goes back to the latest, you know, setting. There's a firmware update that you can do, and there's also a little program that you can run, just connect it up via USB, and uh, and change, you know, some of those settings. So that's that's worthwhile um, doing that, and uh, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks.